The oil-rich Niger Delta, with its peculiar developmental issues, is in dire need of a clear-cut investment in agriculture to address increasing unemployment amongst its expanding youthful population. It's with this realization that a team from the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development is visiting the NEDC headquarters to seek a renewed partnership with the interventionist agency on ways to explore the huge agricultural potential of the region and transform the lives of youths and farmers in the Niger Delta. We are even better equipped today to do much greater than we have done in Abia Baisla, Cross River Delta, Edo and Ondo. We are better equipped to have greater impact today in Aqua Ibom, Imo and Rivers. And that will mean that we can concretize fully the partnership that we have with NDTC, the MAU that we have signed. Uh, so we we want to start a new journey. Acting Managing Director of the Commission recommits to the agency's partnership with IFAD and charges the development partner to go beyond training of farmers to developing a template to measure the impact of the program. Training and equipping fine, but there should be some follow-up to ensure that those beneficiaries make returns to the economy. And then the economy we see signs of improvement as a result of that intervention. The NDDC boss also challenges IFAD to expand the scope of the program, saying the gains will be far-reaching on youths. I told them that instead of shrinking it, they should expand it. The collaboration right now is about $100 million. Now we should look at the collaboration going to about $200 million. Because of the challenges that farmers are facing due to a crisis, Ukraine crisis, inflation, energy uh, issue, and the flood. This means that we have to do more. IFAD is renewing its commitment to develop agriculture in the Niger Delta to add to the 6,000 youths drawn from six Niger Delta states already trained through the program.